All right, let's get this two-hour session, which has actually been going for 40 minutes now underway. Uh, myself and Grant have been having a one-on-one -on -one chat, which has been cool, but I'm going to record this from now on because it's World Ventures Relevant Questions, and Kyle has got a great one to start about the culture and getting around that and how we can get involved with activities and stuff. Now, this stemmed, and to answer your question, Kyle, and anyone who's watching the recording, um, from Michael Slogger going to Israel. If you haven't caught the recording of that, just some cool stuff he did over in Israel where it's not a new market as such, but it's a market that was going backwards, backwards massively. He went over there and he spoke about how he just organised, and there was other leaders with him, of course, but he's ideas man, of course. Um, he's like, let's all go down the beach. Let's have big parties down there. Let's not prospect anyone. Let's not talk about what we're doing. Let's go and have fun. So it was basically that. He just wanted a big group of people to go to the beach and have fun so other people would see what they're doing. That was the basics of it. Now, this it's what the company's about. We're meant to be the fun company. And I know a lot of us lose track of it. Me and Grant have had a great chat about it. When we're working our asses off talking to a lot of people, we forget at the end of the day that the one thing that separates us from a lot of network marketing companies, our product is travel. It's meant to be exciting. It's meant to be fun. Now, if we get caught up in the process, which we all do, it gets frustrating talking to so many people, not getting the result we want. So he was talking about, all right, let's go this way. Let's show people we're having fun. There's a group of people in your area and that. You're probably in the best spot where you are for numbers, Kyle, for people in World Ventures. Up here in Cairns, we've got a group, me and Grant spoke about this. We've got a group that, well, I'm going to say they're, they're, they're not party animals. <laughs> they're not, they're of a different age demographic. Now, we're all, oh, you'll say we're all similar. Like, there's like 10, 10 years or so difference in our ages, but we're all very, I think, I see we're very similar. That's the way I see it in regards to what we might want to do. Like, going to knock about at the beach with a family or our mates and all that, that's pretty, that's pretty common that's something we could do no dramas he's talk about doing activities like that rounding up as many people as you can in the area or getting in contact with whatever it is doing something at the beach take your little blue signs have everyone doing live feeds or videos or snapchatting and that and people from the outside are going to look in and he used his example in israel he goes they enrolled 48 personals in three days after that thing at the beach where they didn't go there to prospect they didn't go there to talk business or anything. They went there to have fun and show off them having fun. No activities, no dream trips, none of that. It was just going to the beach, big group, connecting with other people in World Ventures and having fun. And he says it, it was phenomenal. Like I say, their little, and they're not big in Israel, their little group got 48 enrollments in three days, I think he said. You'd have to watch it. But the oh, whole idea of it, and he's, he's really pumping it up in Townsville and he's quick to admit this like even his own backyard he hasn't done enough but now he understands it and he even said that he goes he should practice what he preaches more he went over there on stage and told him to do this he goes he even said he hasn't even done it in his own market he goes but from now on this is the angle he wants to take in Australia because you think about it our knockabout mates and all that sort of stuff they do all this stuff if we're in a new crowd and we're showing this stuff off at the beach and people are watching where we're getting on Facebook just showing us having fun with these different people, that's a, just a different way for the others around us to ask instead of like, because we've all got that warm market where after speaking with all of you, you've literally used it all up. That's, that's the message I'm getting. This is a good way to, to engage the warm market again. And it's not instant, but, and it's got, a, it takes a group of people. It doesn't, it doesn't take just one individual. This takes lots of people catching on. So that's what Michael's angle was with this. I think it's really cool. Um, same as Dream Trips Local. Um, that's why the travel parties are cool. The travel parties already do this to an extent. A lot of them are just show up, have a chat, back room in the pub or a bar or wherever the restaurant is, um, go home. It's, it's cool, but it's not the fun side. You don't see the fun side. People going there are actually expecting to have, see the opportunity. So it's a bit different. So yeah, I'll, that's that's basically what it was, Kyle. And it's something that needs ideas. It's not coming from World Ventures itself. It's come from Michael, who's one of the leaders in Australia. 
Yeah. No, well, it is good. It's a, you, you need to obviously attract. And that's what I think, you know, network marketing is. Yeah. But taking... Attract and all that stuff, so... Yeah. Taking the whole... The whole... You're going to an area with a group of World Ventures people to prospect or to talk to people. Take that out of the question. You're going to talk there to talk business with the leaders. No, not doing that. All, everyone mingles. Doesn't matter what rank you are. Doesn't matter whose team you're in. Everyone just mingles and shows that they can have fun as a group. That's it. That, that was the whole idea. That's why it's different than the travel parties. Unless you're going to go there for dinner or out to dinner one night, that's not a travel party. Have fun at dinner. Show people that. Something I've been talking to a couple of the other guys about doing um, in Melbourne. That's just showing it. That's showing it off. It's not even the product. Showing the culture. So, yeah. So, if I'm understanding correctly, so, like, if you were to go into the city, um, that's where a lot of uh, travel parties kind of take place uh, in my area. Yeah. You go down to the city, travel party, then afterwards uh, you plan, say, maybe a cruise on the Sydney Harbour with, you know, one of the Dream Trips local companies or something like that. Is that what you mean? No, no, no. It's taken away from the product. They'll separate the whole thing. Just show and use, oh. use the beach as an example. Connect with World Ventures people. Organise 20 or 30 years to go to the beach one day for a couple of hours with families or whatever and just have fun. That's the thing. Yeah. There's going to be a heap of people at the beach or where it is in a park where it's busy, in the city somewhere where there's going to be people, whatever it is. I know it's not going to be beach time in about a... Well, it's probably not beach time down there now, you poor buggers. It's just coming into beach time up here. <laughs> yeah, tropical climate up there. Yeah, but showing it off, that's the thing. We all use social media, or a lot of us do, just showing it off in live feeds. Look at us all having fun. Don't say what it is or anything. Hey, we're just having fun. Look at all my new friends. Eh, it's like that. Yeah. yeah. It, it, takes, it takes the pressure away from it too, like having to go on a cruise and all that, which is still what we encourage to do. But his whole point of this is, is like, let's just show off the culture. Let's show that we actually can have fun still without going down there with an intention to sign people up. Living life, really, isn't it? It's just like living normal, everyday life. Yeah, just with the group. That's the thing. So it involves reaching out and connecting with people. It's something I can't just put you in front of either. This is the other thing with it. This takes initiative from you guys. This takes you like, all right, I'm in this area. Like, If he's aren't in the groups yet, I tag he's in a few travel parties and that. But to, to be honest, I can't keep up with that at the moment. It's... um. Connect with them in the areas. I know you guys in um, uh, Wodonga down there have got <laughs> bugger all at the moment. But you, Amy's doing the right thing. She's heading down um, tomorrow or whatever. Yeah. To connect with them. That's that's what it's about. Yeah, she's heading up for one tomorrow night. Yeah. And I'm sure, sure what can come out of that too, when you do connect with other people and brainstorm about something like this, talking to them face-to-face and meeting, you can, you can arrange it. It's easier. It's better. It's like it's what this is all about. This is relationship marketing. That's the key of all of it. You want to talk to some people, some people already in the company. That's the other thing with that too. And Amy will know this already by going to the event, talking to people in your company. If you're having trouble talking to people that aren't in the company yet, or you want to prospect them, go just have conversations with people you don't know who are already in the company. It's a little tip for you is there. Because it's still, you don't know them. But it takes away the whole intention of wanting to sign them up. And you watch how much better you get at just com- at, at conversation. Yeah. And it, it takes some initiative. It does. You've got, you've got to take it and say, all right, today, like me, I've got my, well, I've cut mine down to 30 messages. But today and yesterday, oh, I'm up around. I did about 120 yesterday. But in the 120 messages or whatever it was, I reached out to a few people in World Ventures just to say, hey, just to say, hey, that's it. It's um, it's one of them things that I think, and Michael, Michael was right with it. Something he hasn't done enough of himself, he said, which is it. complete ownership. And that's a massive reason he resonates with me seriously is because he owns it. He's hardcore. He's straight out there. He even says it himself. He hasn't spent enough time with a lot of his people. He's been very privileged. He says a lot of them are stuck with him. Like they've had faith and they've taken the initiative. But he goes, something could have done a lot better. And he goes, now he sees where he's got to improve is things like this. Get that culture going on a local level. 
So yeah, that that was about it on that man. Good good question. I, I wanted to talk about this. It's really cool. Yeah, no, that was a good one that Grant brought up there for sure. Yeah, yeah, we already spoke about this. Like I say, it's um something up here in Cairns. Um, I'm going to say there's a little bit of a misconception about how much of a social place is here in Cairns, but there is a spot at the Esplanade we can go. We can take 20 people there and we can highlight a bit of the fun we can have. It's just a matter of gathering them 20 people. Hmm. What about yourself, Lee? Any questions straight up? Since you two guys have got the floor. Um... Not straight up, no. Amy's just she's just doing something and she'll be on as well. Yeah. Um friends. How, how are you guys? Hey, hi. My name's Mason. I know it is. I've met you before. <laughs> are you dancing? He's just waving. I'm just putting something on Kelly for him. <laughs> Quiet, mate. <laughs> Hello. Oh, thanks for the tip on the videos too, mate. Um, that yeah, was um. Did you drive to work? Yeah, he was gold, especially with that particular video that I put up there. How relevant it is to me in terms of how he was talking about how hard he had to work and yep. persistence and that. Yeah. How he just stuck at it. You'll you'll never run out of content with Gary V either ever. No. Nah. Well, I watched a couple more on the way home as well, and yeah, he's good. Yeah. I don't know that one. Yeah, that's it. And you can see how much of a difference, and Kyle would understand this, is having something like that on um, in the morning, it, it just gives you a bit of a spark. It does. It gives you a bit of a lift. It's, um, it's a big reason why I suggest to do it. Yeah, no, it was tops. It was real good. Yeah, cool. And continue to do it too. I shared, I'll share it in this group. I shared, oh, I shared it in this group a little while ago, The Stranger's Secret. Um, did you check that out, Kyle, when I shared it a while ago? And I've been shocking, eh? I've, I've been no, shocking. Just, I'm going to pull you up now. Self-talk's terrible. You've been fucking fantastic. You're doing good. You're doing the best you can. No, seriously. No, but I'm not... I'm serious. This, this is well part, don't you? Hey? <laughs> I think there's a fine line between like having self talk and just being flat out honest. Like I've been, yeah. Like I have like good things. But, you know, good. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Well, you're probably one of the most consistent that's on it, mate, and doing everything. So and showing up on these videos and everything. So don't take too much away from yourself, buddy. Yeah. No, oh, cheers, mate. And I understand that. I'm definitely like showing up, but there's just things behind the scenes that I'm not actually doing. So. You know, yeah. showing up to these and putting it into action. Too. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, um, Portie put a good comment in the group, I think it was earlier today, it might have been yesterday, about knowledge is power. Did you see my comment after that? Uh, no, I don't, I don't know. Knowledge, it? knowledge, knowledge is okay, but applied knowledge is powerful. Yeah, exactly. So, like, like you're saying, you can show up here now, it's what you do behind the scenes when you apply it is the key. Oh. Yeah. But that's that's something. I'll yeah. share that in um, the other group too. It's already in this group, but I'll share that in the other little private coaching group as well. I'll put it in the files or something. That's a cool thing to listen to on your way to work. That's really cool. You would have listened to that, Grant, yeah? The Stranger's Secret? Your Nightingale? Never heard of it, mate. Cool. All right, cool. I'll put it in the coaching group after. Um, the biggest, the biggest thing that I've found, like I've only been around this and mindset and that for well, bugger all, really. Yeah. Eight, eight weeks tops, and the biggest thing that I've found is even like how Kyle was saying, it's behind the scenes and that. But the fact that you're doing the the little things like putting the photos up, jumping on the calls and that, that's all the start of something bigger. And you know, the more you do those little things, the more they become just background noise and then you start doing more things on top of it. It's just, from what I've learned in my short time, it's just a place to start. And, the, you know, once you start doing those basic little things, they become natural and then you evolve that. And um, you'll start doing more and more and putting more things into action. Yeah. 
That's, that's exactly how it is. The compounding effect. Mm. Wow. That's why I just go 2% every day, 2% every day. And the 2% every day does include, if you miss out on something, that's okay. And that's, I'll, I'll be honest, Paul, that is a pattern of yours straight up. As soon as, as soon as I know straight away, if you haven't done something, because you're straight out with it. But the way you come out with it is, yeah, you've been honest, but you've been a bit hard on yourself. You don't have to be. Uh, it's a good thing, man. Honesty is cool. I wish more people were as super honest as you straight up. <laughs> it's a good thing. Um, what else have we got? What else have we got? We were just talking about the culture grant, so I've covered all that, man, what we've already spoken about. Um, you getting on, Dave? Cool. Um, yeah. One thing I wanted to touch on, um, it wasn't in the suggestions and stuff like that. Um, I know there's a couple more people that have promised me they're going to get on in the next 15 minutes or so. I'll, I'll talk about something else soon, but just lists. Lists are just so important. I, I'd love to ask you, Lee, have you got anyone around in your world that you could talk to, like seriously about World Ventures? Um, mate, yeah, I probably do, mate. Yeah, I, I probably do. And I probably need to sit down and go through a list of people and that and even down to tradies that I see regularly and that that might be interested that go away and stuff like that. So I'll probably... That's probably one thing I need to put on my results priorities for tomorrow or something to sit down and work out. Um, yeah. At least that I can approach that. And it's, it'd be different to than Amy because I'd approach things differently to her as well. Yeah, perfect. And then, do you know what? And this is what I want to say to all of you is like in a couple, this can work good if there's people close to you. It can. It, it might not too when your Walmart market's gone, but you can like double hit people. Seriously. Yeah. You can, and it's more powerful as a couple. It's just one mm. of the things that you can probably do. It's um, just to think about, but definitely get that list, Lee. Get that list. Um, even if you can open a conversation with them. That's as yeah. simple as that. And just say, hey, I know bugger all about this, but I'm doing this because I need to do something differently. And what, what I see for you guys especially is probably one of the toughest markets with this is what user in, but the market that needs it the most is what user in. <laughs> yeah. They're, yeah, they're, that's right. It's seriously screaming for normal tradies. I was talking to Grant about finding someone in this game who has been a tradie before who's made the success of this because it needs people to stand up and do the hard yards to show that it can be done. It really yeah. And having that mindset to be one of them people to do it, that'll actually hold you in good stead when you cop the mm. shit. Because I tell you what, I, I've been in the construction game and all that in Melbourne for years and years and went to the mining game. The building, same diff, all that, are so negative. And it's so, it's so um, what is it? The mentality is group mentality. Well, it is, it's like schoolyard shit. It's like, well... Yeah. He's the cool builder or he's the one with the most money and the best fucking you. We'll listen to what he says. If he puts that guy down for saying something smart or whatever, no, we'll stick with him because he's, he's cooler. That's, that's mm. how it works. It's like the bigger builder who gets the bigger jobs. He gets more notice. Not because he's better. The, the crowd goes to him. It's the same thing when it comes to, to opportunity and, and even just speaking to people on a lower level. It all starts in the schoolyard, by the way, guys. Oh, I fucking mm. hate school. <laughs> <laughs> That's on record too. See Amy just sitting down there in her tradie outfit. Yeah. When I was at school, I was buying packets of cigarettes and I would sell the cigarettes to the other kids for a dollar each and I would make so much money that I could smoke for free and have enough money to buy more smokes and sell more smokes. Cool. So you sold, <laughs> so I was in, so you were running free. <laughs> so I was what? You sold four cigarettes and then you're running free. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was an entrepreneur way back in school. Do you, do you have a list of the names of the kids you used to sell the cigarettes to? <laughs> yeah, they're all on my Facebook. <laughs> You've already got rapport. <laughs> they trust yeah. you. Ring them now. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Buy a cigarette. Well, $550. Yeah. yeah. I, I can't go to my list that I used to sell shit to because I'm pretty sure they have access to one phone call a month. <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw that in there. And they're not going to call me and say, hey, what opportunities have you got? <laughs> <laughs> we'll take in a minute. Oh, shit. And I was terrible at selling stuff anyway. I was good at selling stuff, but there was never, ever any profits made. <laughs> so. Using product too much, huh? Yep. I was, a, I was a product of the product. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is this gone? If you're watching the recording of this, please put some feedback on where I've taken this one. Or well, Amy started it. <laughs> uh, anything. Anything you've got, Amy, for me? Um, I've just sort of given the floor to everyone for any specific questions or anything. We have spoke about culture and it's good what you're doing going down to Melbourne. That's actually really, really good. The, the um, stuff you're doing about the whatever I've wiped out the naughty girls concept from my mind because it makes me too excited for people I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it's a great yeah, idea. So, yeah. Yeah, so Jen and I, um, I'm heading down to Melbourne um, and I'm going to hit up Simon Collis and Dave Leon after this yep. and see what they're doing. Yep. Um, but I think that we're going to just open it up a little bit and not just be... <laughs> specifically just for mums, like any woman that wants to come that needs, you know, three nights in Bali, four days to just relax, unwind and just chill out. Yep. Um, because, yeah, like I went to the, uh, we went to the 30th on Saturday night and there were quite a few girls there that were asking me about it and they don't have kids and they're like, oh, well, we don't have kids, would we be able to come? And I'm like, yeah, of course you can. You don't just have to have kids. Yep. And they're like, oh, you know, I need a break. Yeah. So, yeah, um, Jen and I are going to do a live feed from or well, after the meeting. Yep. And, um, yeah, we're just going to open it right up for, for any woman that really wants to come and just how chill is, out. And how, how is, I don't know if Michael spoke to you about it, how are you planning of doing the call to action because it's actually part of the membership? How are you planning on interlinking that? Is it just about creating the interest around it and then you get them onto calls? Or what? Yeah. All right, cool. Because I think I think some sort of seed has to be planted. Um, I, I've yeah. been thinking about this a bit because you're going to get a lot of people asking a question. As soon as they realise they've got to join a company, they're going to go boom, like that. Yeah. No matter how good the idea is, and I'm thinking something like the along the lines of this is going to be continual if we get the numbers going with all our yeah. other trips. Something like that rhetorical. Um, to use, um, to just drop it in there. And it's a simple way of planting a seed in a conversation or whatever it is in a live feed. This, this goes along and even talk to Jen about it before it. I know before a live feed, like what you do too, have a chat about what your intention, how you're going to roll it out. There's going to be random stuff. That's cool. But say, just say to each other, we're going to ask one question, have a couple of questions there. We're going to ask this somewhere and just say, well, is this a one off? Um, no, this can be many and it's going to go on with all our other dream trips that are already in place right around the world or something like that. Yeah. Because then it's going to... So we... Yeah, go. Sorry. You're right. Yeah, so we were hoping that we could do like four a year. Like we could get to a point where we could do like, yeah, four a year. Yep. And um, yeah, like every three months do one. And, you know, have different stuff that we do every time that we go. So, you know, we don't want women to think it's like a, a three-day piss up and we're going to go to, you know, the strippers and stuff like that. It's, you know, it's about mindset and it's about really tapping into your, your purpose and stuff like that. So The relaxation part in itself is an area that well, m most of us don't have enough because it's you time. That's important. Yeah. It's massively important. And that can be interlinked in the mindset. Like Kyle found out the other night on our call, time for yourself or passions and enjoyment. You've got to have that for your balance. So they, they're going to need this too. And that's how you can interlink 
mindset into this without saying the word mindset. That's yeah. a big part of it. I think you've taken up the amount of times we're allowed to say mindset for the year too after your live stream too. <laughs> um, you can sit on it. Hey. You can sit on it. <laughs> sit on it and rotate. <laughs> I know what you mean. I'm allowed to say. I was waiting for everyone else's reaction. <laughs> I'm the same, <laughs> don't worry. If I went back through and watched some of my stuff, the amount of times I repeat words, like some of them I'm like, mm, okay, but it's good. It's in their head now. At least it wasn't um. I'm, I like saying that. And um, like? Um. Hey. Um. Hey. I say basically about a thousand times a minute. Basically. Basically? Do you basically say basically? That's actually a, that's actually a word you want to get rid of in network marketing. Basically. <laughs> But no, that's, that's cool. And that goes in with the culture, what we are talking about before with all these activities and that we, we can get together in our local areas. Like I know you guys, you and um, Lee up there, Amy are really are, there's a few people. It involves still reaching out to them and maybe getting some of this together. Um, even up here in Cairns, there, there is a fair few people in Cairns, but the demographic is, it's very, very different. Um, me and Grant and Nate Code and we went to a couple of the nights and we were the young guys and Bella. The rest were at the point where cruises was their thing, which is cool for them, but parties at the beach is not their thing. Getting in their bikinis is not their thing. <laughs> it might be, but it's not for my eyes. Nah. <laughs> I bet I, I bet you there'd be a few good sorts getting around in their budgie smugglers. <laughs> look at, look at, I, no, I'm just going to take a picture of us men's reaction just there. <laughs> Is that, that was gold. So I like what um, Grant and you were talking about, Steve, about creating culture. Um, with you, Amy, how you're doing that you know, travel for the, uh, the mums and that. Have you created like an open Facebook group just to kind of create that you know, online culture? A Facebook group? Was that for me, mate? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's basically asking you what are you doing to create a culture around your bad mum's idea other than just posting on your Facebook page. Is that what it was? Or, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so that's what Jen and I are going to nut out um, tomorrow when I catch up with her. What's, what's the next step? You said I mean, I've got... Sorry, I yeah. had a good idea. Um, yeah, yeah. Get it. Just get like four or five years to go out. Go, go out on a night on the piss somewhere in the city, and and record it. Do like heaps of little videos, and then you know stitch it all together, kind of like like a movie preview. Bit of sex in the yeah. city. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, and at oh, the end, yeah. bad bad mom's barley retreat. You know, you should get on it. Put music and all that sort of stuff, like like a hangover bloody movie preview kind of thing. You know, people go. Oh, bad mom always sounds like a sixty minute. Mum's gone wild. dot com. dot au. God, <laughs> the ideas are just running wild in here. <laughs> King Street. Yeah, no, that's actually a really good idea, Grant. Um, like, seriously, all jokes aside, that's a really good idea. Mm. Right. All, all these, little, okay. these little ideas are good. They're thinking outside the box. I'm actually liking this call's really cool tonight because everyone's bouncing a few ideas off it. It's a good way to roll with this. I was saying earlier, I don't like even calling these training because... As, as a team and something I've been reading lately on leadership and things like that, we want to be able to create this sort of stuff together too. Um, ooh, what do we got in the background there? We've got a little bunny rabbit. 
<laughs> Distractions. And these these are a bit more laid back too, and we can get a lot out of these. But what I want to see in on the leadership stuff, I mean, Grant, I talked a little bit about this too, is like taking the initiative on things, having a bit of ownership about your ideas and what you can do too. Um, going through with stuff like this, we can have a chat about it. Um, because it all all this stuff's really cool. Because the structures in place from the company, the how to talk to people's there, we, we just have to get better at it. The numbers are there, we just have to do more numbers. But it's all this other stuff what we're talking about tonight, which I think is really, really important about keeping us half sane. Because <laughs> it's the what what we are as humans, we we're creative. That's what we are. Sometimes when we get into this environment where we've got to make money and we've got to make it work, we forget to be creative. We become robots and we get frustrated because we're not being creative. We don't have that outlet. So this is, this is cool. Oh, that was freaky. Is that Mason? <laughs> oh, oh, lazy inside. Yeah, he's, he's got him under control. It's cool. <laughs> I'm glad someone's got him under control. Yeah. And you'll see too. And I, Another thing that I want to urge everyone to is lack of interaction, interaction, whatever, same people showing up on Facebook, it doesn't matter. Put in the time with this. Put in the time with social media. Even if you're not getting the interaction, just show up. That's that's key. Show up no matter how you feel and all that sort of stuff. When you've got that 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 bit of a following, and trust me, they're there. They are there. I was talking to Grant about this today. That that post that about me and Chi Chi in a relationship had people show up on that, that I was going to delete off my friends list. They're watching. They're, there was people comment on there within frigging 40 minutes that I'd never heard of before since I've had Facebook. People are watching guys mightn't be in that respect, but it might be the two or three that have been watching you already for three or four months that in three or four months, they're going to say, I'm sick of watching this person do this. I've got to I've got to get outside my comfort zone and say, all right, I need to do what you're doing. That's that's the that's the whole purpose behind showing up all the time. It'd be amazing. Yeah. It'd be amazing to get more interaction for you guys. It really, really would. Um, that's because it's key. Um, one way I can look at it too, and I was talking to Chi Chi about this before. One downfall or side effect of attraction marketing, which I've been building up for a while, to get the interaction. I get prospected like an absolute crazy person all day, every day. I, I, I do my best to reverse, but a lot of these people are like us. We're one track. We're like, nah. We're yep. gonna do this. So it's like this. <clears throat> That's been one of the downsides. So don't get put off by the fact that I get massive interaction on a lot of posts. I put a lot more work into people that are never, they're not open-minded. I might be doing a lot more messages. So just, just know that too. Um, the law of averages still comes into it, but guys, it still means do the numbers. But I'm actually spending a lot of time with people who are closed-minded who just want to sell me their product. So that's one one downside if you want to see to the attraction marketing thing and the, the high interaction. The ones who are always watching, that's key. Just wanted to throw that out there. The other thing too, you would have noticed... Um, I put a little comment in there. I'm going to Peru in May. Now, I spoke to Michael about this today because I, I, I don't know if he's aware that like, I got like my head pulled in by World Ventures the other week by putting crypto stuff on Facebook. And a bit of that, Grant's laughing now, <laughs> a bit of that was, and it, it made sense um, because it, it was sending mixed messages about what I do, not just to people out there, but to the team and everything like that. I have got a couple of things going on, but it really pulled me in a line that I wanted to put the same message out that World Ventures is my number one thing. It absolutely is. And it's going to follow down the line. Even if it's not out loud, it's going to do that. Um, and I got called out for that. And that I spoke to Michael about today, but from me going to Peru, because it's totally different but it's going to involve me and my coaching and stuff because I'm blowing that out of the water. But I spoke to him specifically today about how you guys can leverage it because we are a team. Now it's one of these things we've just got to experiment with it. It, because we are a team, if it means I'll tag you in posts that are relevant, like I did today, I, I don't like tagging heaps of people, but the, the, the reason I'll tag you guys in there is to see how I've written it. 
if you want to comment and all that sort of stuff, it helps because I want to I want to do my best to put a team aspect on it. It's my personal journey, but I can blow this up because I've, I've spoken to him about a bit of a structure, how we can do it to highlight world ventures in some way or the team in some way because at the core of this, I'm growing myself personally so I can be a better leader. Simple. So who am I being a better leader for? You guys first up. That's, that's as simple as that. Not to say I'm better, but to pass on everything <clears throat> I learn and to be able to somehow leverage that through social media for you guys, jumping on, I don't need the comments. I don't need any of that stuff. I don't do it for comments. I do it. I do it to get people into the team. But to have you guys maybe show up and do that, but then I could somehow highlight you guys at the same time. That's how I want to do that. Because I'm going to get massive attention going to Peru. We've got like a production crew going there. We'll have like the TV show come out. We'll have all that sort of stuff. So just to see how it goes, I, I'm happy to take ideas on this too, guys. Because why not leverage it? Serious. I'm going to work with Regan Hillier. She's got friggin' how many thousand followers and all this sort of stuff. That's, that's a massive network to tap into. Massive from around the world. So just to be highlighted in that in some way, it can benefit us all. It really can. Michael's like, I don't know at all. Me and Michael bounced this off each other so I didn't get in trouble for promoting something else. Um, but we're, we're absolutely on the same page with how this can make be a benefit. So I don't know. Throw some, some ideas because it's absolute, this is not about me. That's what I want to make this really, really clear. This is about somehow building all our networks as a team, somehow. Mm. Well, what I love about the whole aspect of that is it actually highlights to people, people that, that travel are open-minded people anyway, right? Yeah. So people that are open-minded are also self-aware and they're also going to be interested in self-development, personal development, motivational stuff, things like that. So if I was looking from the outside in and I saw, okay, this guy, which is you, is into personal development, mindset and coaching, blah, blah, blah. Oh, fuck. He's with Alien. friggin' Hillier. Alien head. <laughs> and it's a beautiful head, but it's an alien head. Um, he's with Regan Hillier. And they're in Peru and he's traveling and he's in World Ventures and he's doing this and that. Fuck, I want to be in that too. Who else is involved in that? That's the, yeah, that's, that's the point of it. If, if your names show up, and this is actually how I got a lot of notice in Beast Mode if I look back on it. There's under Lee Bundy's title, Beast Mode and all that sort of stuff, highlighting that. And what ties into this too, I like the live streams and all that, I'd probably rather a couple of videos from you, um, shorter videos, because you would have noticed I haven't done a live stream away from my groups in three weeks. That's, that's, a long, that's a long time for me. That's a long time, but there's a reason behind that. That's what me and Michael have been talking about. Videos, just to link in, it doesn't even have to be about me going to Peru, but it's something to do with the team, guys, just how we can interlink the people in the team. That's, that's the way I see this. And it's like, we're all different. If people sh see us showing up differently, and I do it. I was talking to Grant about this. I do it. If someone I haven't seen is on like Chi Chi's post, I'll go check out who they are just to see because they're not in my network. I'll go, all right, who's this person? I just have a look. As if other people don't do that, guys. Seriously. Do yeah. you not do that on other yeah. people? Say, oh, who's this person? Well, they might have a cool profile pic. Grant? Yes. <laughs> yep, I stalk everyone. Yeah, no, nah, but no, this, you, we do it by default, guys. If you don't start doing it now, but I know we do. We see someone that, and it's an energy thing too. You might see their profile pic or their comment and say, well, they look pretty cool. What was that? I'll just, I'll just have a look. And that's... That's, pro that's probably one of the I need to work on is getting more exposure and getting expanding my network of friends on Facebook and that because I haven't done anything mm. towards that because I've only just sort of started 
getting involved with Amy in this. So the, the best way to do one it thing I can work on definitely. The best way you can do it is just jump on a live feed or a video with Amy every now and then. Seriously, and don't don't pressure yourself too much to just jump all in unless you want to. I'm happy for someone to happy for you to do that. But I yep. no, he's too sexy. Oh, he all the girls good. love him. You you guys are gonna have to turn one. Blue eyes. You're gonna to have to turn one of your things off because it's echoing because you're sitting too close to each other. No, we go out and literally girls are like dripping off him. I'm standing next to him. They don't even care that I'm standing there. It's like I'm literally the invisible woman. That's because you're. So if he gets on a live feed, he's gonna be like, "Oh, this is so big, sexy." Ooh. Why not? Do it. <laughs> Seven, I did one and it was awesome. We yeah. had heaps interact. Yeah, and, and that's just, at the start it was rough, but then it just flowed. Like yeah, a bear or something. Yeah, and that's that's what it that might be an idea for you, Lee, just to start, just to get getting used to something. That's that's the yeah. thing. Don't have to go all out. Kyle's been doing a couple of really good little live feeds that I've shared a couple in the group. That sort of stuff. It's a progression, but I I reckon yeah. a couple of videos. I'd love you to to crank out a couple of videos a week, just short little videos. Throw some ideas at me when you're going to do it or something. Because the video is something that can click on all the time. Another thing that me and Grant were talking about was my, I use Michael Sobert's example a lot. It's something he keeps putting to me. Like, I think, um, I think up until like February, I'd done something like 350 live feeds or something, which is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I'd done a lot and there was lots of interaction. That's how I met half of you guys. But, <laughs> but there was a lot of... Um, there was, and he said to me, he goes, well, how you look at this? He goes, I don't want six minute video and it's got 120,000 views because I keep just using it every now and then. Just him walking down the river because at the end of the day, a video, if you're not talking about a time and date and things like that, you think about it. It's the same message. You can use it in another month or two months, three months. If it's your story like Michael's, it was a basic six minute version of his story, that... Roll out whenever. It's still your story. The only thing that might change is if you've stepped up in a month or two after. So I really urge everyone to even do one little video like that. Little short thing. Five minutes max. Just ideas. I'm just throwing ideas out. Looks like you want to say something, Kyle. No, I was just going to... Um... With the, the five minute video, what are you talking about? Like your why, uh, the story up until now, where you're heading, or you could do all three. <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever feels right, guys. This is this is the thing. Like I can give you the structure, but it, I don't, I don't feel that's right because then I'm sort of forcing you to come out with stuff that might not be right at the time. It's good if it serves a purpose, a purpose for your personal development, but this is. You've got to remember this is World Ventures as well. We still want to get something about what we're doing. The why is a good one. The why is really good. Um, where you're going with it's good. You can do, like, you can do a video. You can do, like, well, this is what I've been doing or this is what I was doing. Say what you are still doing now. Or, this is a job I'm doing. This is I'm planning on getting away. You've got a five-year plan, Kyle, which I shortened to 18 months the other night, which is cool. But, no, you can, you can talk about that. You can talk about that. And without mentioning World Ventures, just say, this is, this is what I'm doing. Grant's done this before um, when we were going through it and that, man. Like, and it can change a little bit. It's like, I'm in this job that, yeah, it pays the bills and stuff like that. I'm doing it, but I'm looking at other options. I've, I've become op more open-minded because I know I'm not going to do this forever. Then you drop in a bit of your why. I've got a couple of kids at home. I'm sick of getting home late. All this sort of stuff. You've done something on this before too, Kyle. Uh, Amy, everyone, you all have. This is the thing. We do it in a video form. Doesn't have to be perfect. You can polish it a little bit if you want. But what I found in my past and my experience, especially from a lot of people I've coached, as soon as you do two or three videos, guess what? You get worse and worse at them because you're like, oh no, that's not right. Oh no, that's not right. Oh shit. So, <laughs> just that that'd be cool for you to put together. And if you just want to put it in the group before you put it out to social media, absolutely do it. Absolutely. And it's at the same stage, it's going to help the group. But only in videos, not live streams. Cool. 
All right, what else was there? What else was there? Like I say, this has been cool. And the main reason too, guys, I want to let you guys know, you don't have to be on here the whole two hours. It was like half an hour to 40 minutes max. If you've got things to do, um, that that's, uh, was the purpose of this. I already knew who was going to turn up. I, I already knew. <laughs> so it was just a, an experiment to see who else wanted to turn up. I'm just about 35 minutes. I'm just going to... I'm just tagging you guys in a post to cool. if you can find a good photo and chuck it yep. in the comments for me and get it going. That'd be good. Yeah. And I'm, like I say, tagging's a little bit gone out the window as a tactic. I believe people get the shits with getting tagged. Used to be, that's cool. Well, you don't want to be in that list, but the way I see it now, tag the team in. Absolutely. That's a, I see that as a good purpose and it shows up in everyone else's page too. Just remember that. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't have to share them all either, guys. This is the thing. You see how many things I get tagged in a day? I don't share them all. No way. <laughs> Far out. I get about three. I get about twenty tags a day minimum, and it does my absolute head in. Yeah, it's but don't let it do your head in. Just know that you don't have to share it. Yeah, you can go into your account settings, um, timeline tagging, and you can click, click it to on, and um, they'll be sitting there for you to pending to go approve. For it yeah, no, I do. Okay. Yeah, I just have to yeah. check tonight tonight because I've got like nearly a thousand sitting there in my pending the box. <laughs> yeah, I've got about five thousand. There's not. Yeah. You can't clear them out. I just, but that's it's not a tactic. Really, it's just to let us know that we're part of that team because it's the way we want to roll. Is there a ghost in your room? I, it's weird, isn't it? No, I think my door's about to be open because there's like two other doors, right? One, two, three, four other doors just out there. I think they're doing it on purpose. What do we got here? All right, Grant. What's All right. It? Funny holiday photo. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to put my little boy to bed, guys. Yeah, cool, cool. I'm just going to quickly go in here. I just want to go through. All right, cool. One, two, three, four. Five of the guys who have seen it haven't jumped on. No worries. In the memory bank. Yep, I've messaged. Okay. We've covered the culture. Okay. I'll, so I've yep. had someone come back, right? And they're, they're basically saying World Ventures have... Great destinations, but mediocre ho like hotels that we're staying in. <laughs> mediocre hotels? Are you talking to the Queen of England? <laughs> Queen what, of where? Um, yeah, so they come, they've come back and said basically, yeah, good locations, but yeah, hotels are average that they're staying on the maps. I don't know if it's the dream trips they're talking about. Or not? It has to be because with the booking engine, you've got access to every hotel in there. It's a booking engine. Yeah, so that is one of their objections at the moment. Was that that girl from before? No. No, this is the one we did a lot of time on now. Uh, on the three-way, remember? <laughs> that one. Good luck to her. And she's been thrown around a little bit too. To a few other people. Hey. She's thrown it around um, someone else as well. Said the same thing. What? Shitty, uh, shitty hotels? Yeah. Yeah. Tell her to jump on a call with me and I'll put her out of the network for good. Mm. It's, like, it's like a... That sort of stuff is like... Who is she? She the person who goes and chooses the hotels? It's like someone coming to you and saying, "Well, that restaurant's great, 
but the meals aren't as good as the one down the road, even though they're both five star. Yeah. Yep. No, it's just an objection that I've never heard yeah. of before. And yeah. Like, oh, right, eh? But yeah, she's obviously using it as a um a tactic to slander. It. Yeah, that's Over that's gun. exactly right. That's cool. She's one person mm-hmm. versus eleven uh one point one million members that are happy. Yep. So yeah. Good point, Bart sure. Grant. And when that stuff comes up, so yeah, cool. Go on a dream trip and tell me what it's like. Yeah. Exactly. Should um I might even go back through this and have a look at some of the hotels that are on the dream trips. I know the Mexico is one to throw it back at her. Throw that at her where Lou Hardy is at the moment. Tell tell her to say that's a shit hotel. That's four diamond. So I don't know if you know what four diamond is. You got five star, five star, above five star goes into diamonds. <laughs> so something like that. If she wants to pick and choose between the hotels and that and spread rumors, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, that looks nice. Yeah, well, it's four diamond. It's the top rating in all the dream trips and it's the cheapest. <laughs> Mm. For a reason. But what we can do anyway, we can um, if there's nothing else, we can wind this up. Like I say, I was hoping there was going to be a few others jump on. Might give it another five or so minutes. But you you can jump on at any time. Like you guys have been fantastic. Um, gotta go. Yeah, cool, Amy. Uh, good luck with tomorrow. Um, tag me in the live stream. I can't guarantee I'm going to be in phone service, but I'll definitely get the recording. Um, remember yeah. what I said about the intention and drop it in to plant some seeds for people watching. Um, it's it's more like qualifying them in their own head before you get them on a call because you're going to get some interest. Cool. Thank you, Amy. What we got? What's Lee doing? What's the name of that hotel, do you know? In Mexico. Is it Nuvo Valarato? I'm not sure. Valarato. Yeah, if you want to be cheeky to it, if that's her objection, just say, hey, how many four diamond restaurant, um, four diamond hotels do you know of? If you want to be cheeky. Oh, I will. Yeah. And remember with anyone like this too, guys, remember with anyone like this, we have to reject them. I'll use I'll use an example. I don't know if I'd share this with you. Last night, I might even read what this guy put in. I um he was he was keen as like keen as he goes, Great idea, great concept, all this. I'm gonna do my research. I said, I'll tell you what, while you do your research, I'm putting you in a three way call, edified the shit out of Michael Floggett in the time that I went from that to set up the three-way call. As soon as I set up the three-way call, he put in there facts from 2015, how 77.5% of World Ventures only make $150. And I'm like, yeah, cool. I removed Michael from the group before he slammed this guy and there was blood in my message. But I went straight in there. I said, yeah, cool. When you do your research on all the other network marketing companies, you're going to get similar figures. It's all about what you put in, you get out. You're not made for this. Thanks for showing your interest. I'm taking you off my list. Bye bye. <laughs> what? Mm, awesome. That's I. That thing last night. This guy was in my eyes ready to go. As soon as he said, oh, "I'm going to do my own research." Once upon a time, I would have said, "Yeah, no worries." I'm like, "Nah, fuck this. I'm going to see how he reacts." Like, we've got to reject them. I'm like. You can be attached to this. He's, he's liked the video. He loves the concept. He wants to get out of his job. He's qualified. As soon as he's like, I'm going to do my research, and he banged it in there in a second, before I even introduced Michael in the group, I'm like, this guy's just going to be a know-it-all. I don't want to waste Michael's time. I don't want to waste my time. He still knows what we're doing. He's gone in and wrapped me up to introduce himself in the messages. I was pretty happy with that. No sign-up. 
Imagine get to that stage where you're happy where you don't get a sign up. Well, you go to sign someone up and they've got no money. <laughs> oh, well, we went through that over and over at the start, man. That was a goodie, that one. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right through to credit card. And they even have a credit card, but it doesn't work and it's no there. Getting social security numbers and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> Far out. I actually had a guy from America today. How's this? This was just random as. Um, the only benefit of scrolling. <laughs> I, a girl in the States put up a thing. She goes, I really need a high paying job. I'm over this. Fucking boom. I'm straight on there. I'm like, you'd love what I do. Bang. Send her a message. On that same post, I went through the whole thing. She's seen it all. Um, she's got to get the money. Whether she does it or not, I said, you know what it is. If it's you, cool. If not, I've got to move on to the next person. There on that same post, a guy's commented. He goes, I want to know what you do, Steve. I know this guy, random from America. Gone through the whole thing. I want to get out of my job. I lay pipes. I do all this. So perfect. I used to run a drainage crew. Straight through the whole process, loves it, wants to do it. Yes, yes, yes. I haven't got a credit card and I haven't got a bank account. <laughs> I'm like, dude. I'm like, all right. I was like slapping my head. I'm like, far out. All right, this guy's working. So he's making some sort of money. I said to him, I said, man, you've told me you really want this. What are you going to do to, to make this happen? He goes, I'll be working up to get a credit card. I'm like, man, get a bank account. Let me know when you've got a bank account. Then get a credit card when you've got a bank account and let's do this. He goes, all right, I'll get back to you. Just so random. Hey, sorry, Steve. How many star, how many diamond was that hotel? Four. Four diamond. Okay. Got six in-house restaurants and you get access to all your meals on that dream trip. Yeah. It's a cracker. It's a... Open bar for three nights. You can take up to 750 dream trip points off. Yeah. That made it like 300 bucks US for fuck's sake. Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, but that one, Grant, don't be too emotionally attached to that one. Trouble. No, no, I'm not after actually talking to you last night about it. Yeah, trouble. I just wiped it this morning. <laughs> yeah. And then I fed her a few carrots about um, anarium stuff. Yeah, I don't even do that. Don't even, no more. Just wipe. Yeah. Always the, the truest saying, what you focus on, you find. What you focus on expands and grows. Yeah, no, no, it was good. I, I put shit to bed today with it, that's all. Yeah, uh, it's good. It needs to happen every now and then. Like I say, we all, we all go through this sort of stuff. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh that's, that's gold. Uh, I'm just getting tagged in posts. Someone's been very, very funny. But... Anyway, like I say, I think that the biggest thing with these guys is take some initiative, the culture stuff we've been talking about. Um, just contact some people. Like I was saying all before, I don't know if you're on ground, all the messages I've sent out a few two people in World Ventures just to say hi. So in the area, Michael's just tagged me in a girl's post there who signed up a couple of people this week in Cairns. But um, I think probably, I think next week I'm going to be back on the travel party bandwagon. Like I said earlier, Grant, I've got a meeting down here with Santa Praise to see if I can get a dream trip um, meeting down there and even dream trip local. That'll be fantastic. But the culture's key, guys. Check out the activities in your area, Kyle. Um, even you, Grant, have a play and have a look at some of the activities in the area that you might be able to do, like even the cheaper ones, just down the track. Um, I've got to start doing some of them myself because there's plenty up here. And there'll be, there'll be plenty in your area too, I reckon, Kyle. I think that's, that's key and connect with people there. Go-karting, bloody restaurants, cruises, bloody heaps of shit. Yeah, I think, I think that's, that's key from, from this. And like, this call was really good too. Um, chuck some comments below or something too, guys, and just how this was a different call. Because I don't know if you guys felt it was, a, it was 
different interaction. Um, I think we sort of struck something. We want to we want to take. We still want to be serious about this because it is a serious game. Because we want to get this, we want to get out this to create something for us to get out of the life we're in. But at the end of the day, we still want to somehow tap into that fun side of. We're going to still somehow tap into that um, for our own benefit. We really do, and to show that off because it does show. Cool. Um, well, I'll try and think of uh, at least one thing for next week. Anyway, like one topic. If all of us do that one topic, it should, you know, make a better. One, one thing I want to roll out with you is, and the reason I asked about time allowances you got for this, I'm happy to go through. You've got to plan your time dedicated to this. You've got to plan it so it's sharp. That's what I, I want to do that on a call. Um, I could even do that on a separate call if I know you guys are going to be on. Um, where we actually write down that stuff. Like if it's one to two hours, make that one to two hours worth it. That's I want to go through that. That's that's really important. Can I come then, on your missus, Friday? Sorry, mate. <laughs> what? <laughs> what you do on it? Well, I'm about to comment on it because I just well, she's in there taking Snapchat photos, and she should be on this Zoom call. So I was going to put a cheeky comment on there about it. Do do it. Um, there you go. It's on. I, I've got to find it, but I'm with flowers on her head. Basically, like ten minutes ago. <laughs> All right, cool. We haven't got anything else, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. I do. It's like getting late. You guys have jumped on for ages. Um, I'll see how it goes next week. Um, you would have seen the link I've got there. It's just automatic. Just click on the same link. Save it to your notes if you want. I'm pretty sure that'll rework next week. I'll put a post in still next Tuesday. Um, but it's going to be the same time next Tuesday. Um, just know you don't have to be on for any longer than 30 minutes. Just just know that. There's no nothing to hold you on there. There's nothing. It's just me being flexible to see what numbers I get. It's the same guys. You same guys that show up. We'll do it for one more week. Um, and then we'll, we'll knuckle down and get an hour where we can all, like, at least 75% agree on. I think it's, for, from my point of view, eight till nine, if it's going to be you guys on, I don't know if that works. I, I don't want it any later. I really don't. Because um, it's, not, it's not fair on you guys either, I don't believe, anyway. Uh, eight till nine, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. yeah Next awesome. week, still going to be the same time. I'm still going to do it for two hours. Even if I have to sit around for 15 minutes at the start and do notes or whatever, I'll do it. Um, cause a couple of have requested it for six thirty, and I haven't showed up. So it's all I can do. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cheers guys. Cool, Thank man. you soon. Catch, catch call.